Typically, discussions are an integral part of most online classes. It's an area where you participate in discussions posed typically by the instructor, and you can interact with other students in the class. Now, if you'll note here in this uh, module that we have open course information, there is a discussion listed here. So to participate, I would click on the, the link. And it opens in this area here. If I would like to see it larger, because as discussions um, grow, this gets a little tight. So here is an icon here that will unlock the discussion and open it in a new window. The option to enlarge the screen is only available in this view because this area is quite small and having to scroll it is quite difficult. So opening in a new window can sometimes be a plus. But under Settings, let me show you there's another view. That was the grid style we were showing, and that open and expand it to a new window is only available in grid style. But if you choose Reading Style and Save, then what you'll have is a, a much, I think, a freer avenue in which to read and, and keep up. And in this view, that expand to full mode is not available. Another option under the discussion settings you probably will want to not work with is the reply settings over here. You may want to uncheck include original message text in your reply. What that means is when you send it back to somebody, um, the original will not be double quoted and people won't have to be scrolling um, page after page if there's many responses to it. So by unchecking that, you'll make it a lot easier to keep up with what's going on and not have so much to skip through. Um, to go in and see what's happening here, I can see there's three messages and I have not read any of them. So click on the title and I can see that this guy has really been active, um, but I have not yet participated, so I'm going to go in and respond to the instructor's initial question, which is listed at the top. So I'm going to click on Compose, and I'll shrink this window down a little bit so we can get it within the recording pane. Within this window, I'm going to type in my subject, and then down in the message area, I will work, answer, and respond to the question posed or the assignment. And when I've completed that with thoughtful input for the class to read, and when I'm done, I would click Post. So now I've participated in that, but I may have to read other students' information. So what I would do would be to read down below here, and if I wanted to reply, to that post, I would simply click on Reply, and the window opens up for me to start typing, and then click Post again. In this view, it doesn't automatically mark it as read when you've completed either replying or responding, so what you'll want to do, just click on Mark Read, and you'll see that it does change the status of it here. The other avenue would be if you know that there's a discussion due, you can click on Discussions on the navigation bar at the top, which will present to you a list of all the discussions that are available to you so far this term. And from there, I would just click on the appropriate title. Now we can see there's some great activity here in Aliens in Space, and this is what a pretty well fleshed out discussion would look like, and you would just scroll through and read and respond